This is um, training tutorial for our art interns and our illustrators. Uh, this is GIMP if you don't have Photoshop. Uh, actually, I'd prefer you to have GIMP. If you have one of the newer computers, it's probably not going to be a problem running it. It, it was for me. Um, anyway, I have an older computer, so I clicked to download 2180. Um, just wait, it'll come down, down to the bottom and you open it up and then just follow the install steps. Okay, let me show you how to use this and why we use this. And you have to forgive mine because it's an old computer, so it will keep shutting down every few minutes. Okay, so this is what you should see. I really ought to make it bigger so you can see it better. Okay. Um, and what you're going to do is, first of all, you need whatever it is that you need to make into a transparency. And the reason we do this is because we have lots of characters and lots of backgrounds and we want to be able to interface them as much as is possible um, in as many different ways, especially if it's a book series. So we're going to open something here. And there's a search bar up there if you want it. I'm going to go to Documents. And it's going to shut itself down, but it'll only be a minute. Uh, you want to make your characters and make sure all the lines are closed properly because otherwise it'll erase things inside of the illustration. Okay, guys, bear with me because I know it's, it's trying very hard to work. Okay. <laughs> Tell me how that happened. <laughs> all right, we're just going to try it with what's it, okay? Let's see. We're going to go up here. We're going to go to... This may not work. We're going to go to Layer, Transparency, Add Alpha Channel. Really, um, ideally, it should all be... The background should be basically white. Um, then we're going to come up here to Tools. Selection Tool right there. Fuzzy Select. And you'll have this little wand. And then you go through the spaces that are white. Uh-oh. I did, I did it wrong. Okay. Spaces that are white, and then you press delete. See that? And then you go to the next space that's white, and you press delete. And the next space that's white. And actually, it's better that we got this one, because sometimes you can do it with just one click, but sometimes you have all these other little spaces to take out. And that's the way that should look. I mean... Really, if you want to get technical about it, you can delete there and right there by his shoulder. And right there by his shoulder. Now I want you to imagine that, oh, you know what, let's get rid of the foreground too if we can. No, that one doesn't go. It's not, it's not white. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to file, but we're not going to save as. We're going to export. Come down here where it says export as. Click on that. See that? And then you want to change this up here from JPG to PNG. Because it's now a transparency. So we're just going to wait for that to decide that it wants to do that. And I mean, eventually it will. If you have a newer computer, you're not going to have this much problem. Okay. okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you're going to be using them. And I'm just going to get any PNG that I have because I have a bunch of them. And I want to insert image from file. Okay, and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to PNG. And um, bring up all my PNGs. Let's use the little artist too. Since we're artists, that'll be cool. You see how we can put him there? Or if we have him in another position, we can put him there again. Or we can change the background. And just, or if we have a photograph or something. And we can just put him in there and he's transparent all the way around this is going to save you so much time and effort if you just draw out your characters first and then your background separately 
And that way, if you have a different book and there's a different character in a, in the scene, let's say uh, it's not him. Let's say it's um. Oh wait, I clicked on him, didn't I? Hold on, because he still clicked on for some reason. Let's say we have um, this dude instead, but this guy's not in the story there, so you don't have to draw that whole thing all over again. You know, you can just use whatever background um, for whatever person or animal or whatever. Um, I really prefer you do it this way. It's going to make all of your images look sharper and cleaner, and, and you won't have to spend a, a whole year illustrating a book. You can, you can get it down to a couple of months even. Um, anyway, okay, so this, you really need to learn how you use GIMP. Um, but mostly it's just for the PNGs. So if all you learn from it is the PNGs, that's fine. Transparencies are going to save you so much time and so much effort and so many art supplies that you're just really going to be amazed. Especially if it's a series of books. You know, like maybe one day they went to the farm and the next day they went somewhere else. Or whatever. Okay, well, um... Then, of course, you would just save it. So we're going to file. Wait, let's put the little dude back. There you go. <laughs> file, save as. But after you save, uh, we're just going to call it JK. Because we're just getting around. You have to export it. See export right there? As a JPEG. Because if not, um, it's not going to show up when it's printed. It'll just be the background and, and the character won't be on there. Okay, I guess that's about it. Thanks, guys.